We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> this game works. I'm going to leave the room and all of my family are going to be scheming. They're going to come up with a fun fact about themselves or a secret or maybe a story I don't know about each individual person. And then one person is going to write out all the answers on the boards. And then I'm going to come back into the room and I have to take the whiteboards and try to match them to the right person. So it might be a little hard. I guess we'll see how well I know my family. And then after that round, someone from my family will tell me how many I got right. And then I get one more chance to change the boards around. And we'll see if I get everyone right. Maybe I'll get no one right. Maybe I'll get some. That's how it works. And I'm super excited to hear people's secrets and spill the tea. So wait, <laughs> I got to spill my tea you on your tea. channel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave the room. Everyone's going to be coming up with their ideas, and I guess they'll tell you the stories behind their ideas right now. I have a plan because it's really hard to come up with secrets you want to share, but I have an idea. So I was thinking that I could ask you questions like, tell about a time that you got injured, and everybody writes about injured, and if you can't come up with a time you got injured, then tell about your favorite or worst teacher, like their name That's and a a something. But we need one writer. That way she can't detect handwriting either. Yeah. If we all do <laughs> similar instead of being way different, then it makes it a little bit harder. That's why I say we with, if we, we go similar, theme the I round. Think so that's everybody mine. think of an injury, or if you don't have an injury, then just think of your first or your favorite or worst teacher you've ever had. Okay, so we have I fell while skiing and bent my ski pole with my neck. <laughs> easy money. I was there when this happened. <laughs> that one's an easy one. The rest are a bit harder. This is easy too. I fell off an electric skateboard and got road rash. I remember this because it's your nasty road cut. I fell off the ice skating stadium bench and split my head open. Okay, I don't know this one. I'm gonna save this one, I wanna read the other ones. Uh, I fell off a fence and cut open my head. You sound like mom or dad. I would not be on a fence. <laughs> and I fell on rocks at my cousin's house and sliced open my knee. Hint, I have a scar. Who has a knee scar in here? <laughs> Which one is Ty? I feel like I should know Ty's. Um, I think the the ice skating one is ties because I don't think he'd be on a fence and I don't think he's ever sliced open his knee. But he has broken his collarbone and his arm before. So I think Ty is ice skating. Mom likes to climb on things. She likes to climb on trees and homes. <laughs> so I can see you're climbing on a fence. Okay, which one's mom and which one's dad? I fell off a fence and cut open my head or I fell on rocks up my cousin's house. I can see mom doing both of these. Mom's kind of clumsy. <laughs> I'm gonna say dad's the rocks at the cousins and mom Mom's fence. All right, who wants to tell me how many I got right? Three right. I got three right? Okay, I'm switching <laughs> these ones. I'm switching that to the fence. Okay, now how many did I get right? All! I <sighs> thought my strategy was gonna be genius. I think it was a good strategy. We just came up with two obvious ones. We just gotta think of more subtle stories. Okay, let's do favorite mm. school stories. So something school? that happened. School. Okay, here's mine. First grade, Mrs. Citrero was my teacher. There was a kid who was sick, ate too much candy, threw up. I was like, ah. Teacher's like, oh, you think that's funny, huh? Well, you get cleaned up. That was not so funny. I didn't laugh at kids after that. I laughed at a kid who threw up. The teacher made me clean it up. <laughs> like, dad would do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it to dad right now. <laughs> my favorite teacher had hair that went past her knees. I don't know. This, okay, this is already harder. At school, a kid stepped on my finger and it got jammed. Well, Ty got stepped on at school and had something broken. <laughs> There's one that says I once called my teacher mom and I feel like everyone's done this. <laughs> Boy teacher mom, so I'm giving it to Jordan. <laughs> My teacher had a treasure box that you could get prizes from. I feel like Ty's probably the Jan figure because that just would happen to Ty. And then I don't know if Jake's ever had a teacher with hair past her knees. So I'm gonna give that to mom and I'll give Jordan Jake the prize one. Okay, how many did I get right? Oh, oh. <laughs> how did you get them all? Oh, it's so good. 
Wow, I'm just way too good on this guy. Okay, so we failed even worse. I can't believe she got that round because literally mine and Jake's could have worked for any three of us. Yeah, We've know, all right? experienced those things. Like, oh. like calling our teacher So mom, this time, let's done, not think. Let's all go very random, okay. very vague. Okay. Yeah, we have to go very vague. Very vague. Because otherwise she knows. It has to be a timeless classic, something that could happen to anybody at any time of age. We're going old school with some old stories then. tried really hard to make it really hard. So we had a teacher got mad at me because I was too loud at lunch. Um, my family blocked me out of the house. It was winter time. This is always dad. <laughs> dad always gets blocked out of the house. <laughs> when my mom took me shopping, I used to hide in the clothes rack. We all did this. <laughs> I'm gonna give this the teacher mad at one at Thai for now. We have, I threw up so bad some of it came out of my nose. Okay, then we have, I don't drink a lot of hot drinks because I threw up after drinking hot chocolate while Christmas caroling. I'll say this is mom's. I'm gonna say the throwing up is Jake. And I'm gonna say Jordan hides in the clothes. Okay, how many did I get right? Three. How? Are you getting some of these right? I know, you're like really good. I don't think mom's is right. Who doesn't drink hot chocolate? Maybe mom used to hide in the clothes rack when she was shopping with her mom. But I don't know if you ever went shopping with your mom for clothes. Actually, no, you did. You got hand downs. Who <laughs> like Christmas caroling? <laughs> Sing a Christmas carol, go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Rocking around the Christmas tree. I don't see. Oh, this is definitely not Jay. <laughs> in the clothes rack, drawing threw up out of her nose. Am I right? No. Nope. Dang it, okay, well that was my last one, so everyone switch your boards. What? <laughs> Mom is the Christmas caroler though. But it's not with my family, it was with a group of girls we went Christmas caroling. Yeah. All right, when were you walked out of the house? Okay, story time. So, basically this is what happened. It was a snowy evening. It all of a sudden started <laughs> snowing like at night. And so dad went out to go like snow plow our driveway and our sidewalks with his like fancy machine one. And I was like, I finished all my homework and my studies and I was like, oh, I'll go help. So I took my little push one, my handheld like shovel. scoop, shovel. Scoop. And, <laughs> and I helped to do our driveway and stuff, but dad was way faster. So then I started working on the neighbor's stuff. And dad must have forgotten that I was out there because he went inside, locked the door, shut down the lights, turned off like everything, <laughs> and went to bed. And everyone else was in bed, asleep. <laughs> so then when I finished the neighbors, I went to come back inside and I noticed everything was off, the doors were locked. I was like, I was like, I'm stuck out here. And I don't think I had my phone. And so I literally had to like pound on the door for ages until one of you guys, what? Until, I don't know who it was that woke up, but one of you guys woke up and you were mad at me. <laughs> And I was trying to hold it in, and it just squirted out my nose. I'm like on the leather type or whatever, fake leather or something. The couch. <laughs> so I used to go shopping with my mom, and I hated it. So I would just run in the store and go hide in clothes racks. One time, though, she didn't look for me, and I got lost. <laughs> I couldn't find my mom. I had to go to the front. She just gave up. And they paged her. They had to call her over the intercom to come get me. Oh! <laughs> I got yelled at and left. It wasn't me. It was my friend that always talked to me very loud. Yeah, it was Mom threw up. You don't yeah. like hot chocolate. I drink hot chocolate, but I'm not like, I'd rather really have a nice cold icy glass of, you should have known that, because I like ice cold drinks. And mom does like ice cold drinks. All right guys, that is gonna be it for today's video of Spill the Tea. If you guys like this and you want it to be a series, make sure to thumbs up the video, comment down below who you want the host to be next. Maybe oh, I can write my goodness. secrets on the board. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.